Okay, okay. I think we're live. Let's just do a quick double check, Mara, and make sure that that's actually happening. Make sure we're broadcasting and that all is well. Happy Saturday, humans. How's everyone feeling? Let's see what's going on here. Open the right space. Hey, Holly Ann. Let's see if I've got the right space so I can see all your amazing comments as they come up. Ooh, I don't know what I've done with that. Hi, hi. I think it's one of those things around Saturday. Hey, Paula, nice to see you. I'm just going to see if I can open it in the right space so that so that I can see all the comments because sometimes if I don't do that right, I'm not in the right place. How's everyone feeling this Saturday? You guys have been doing a lot of work, right? Hey, Kamini, nice to see you. Hey, Faye. Good morning, Angela. Good morning, good morning, Michelle. Good morning. I had a snooze. Confession. I had to snooze because my brain is being over going over time. So good morning, Angela, but good afternoon to those in Australia and New Zealand. Oopsie. Um, I never have a snooze, but it's Saturday and it's getting a bit wintry, so... Yeah, so nice. How's everyone feeling? I've been watching you guys go, huh? Watching the work that's been happening. Everything's looking really good. Um, I've had a couple of messages where people are feeling overwhelmed. Um, you know, my advice to you in this space is it's go at your own pace. You know, it's not about creating more work for you. You can go as granular and deep as you like, and some people are those people, or you can go high level and think of it as strategy. The whole idea is for, to give you the whole idea is to give you the tools you need to be successful. It's not about overloading you with work. And um, I think I I don't want to be that person that gives you more things to do, right? Because I know when I'm in a course or a program and it's like, oh, there's all this stuff I actually can't keep up then we don't finish it. And my intention for you guys is to be able to finish it and feel successful. Happy Friday night, Miss Dare in Hawaii. Um, yeah, and look, if you're feeling a little overwhelmed, that's all right, just take a step back. Struggling with getting a branding kit in place. Yeah, but you've got time for that, Paula. You know, you've got time to play with your branding kit. It's going to evolve over time. You know, most people, when they get a brand done, they'll, they might pay an organisation and that can take like two to like, can take two weeks to like two months to two years. So give yourself permission to take the time that you need. As long as you have an idea of what that looks like, it can evolve with time, right? So just be super kind to yourself right now. If you have an idea of what you want it to look like, perfect. Start with the idea and then drill down from there, right? So um, it's important to, and I think some people, if you have a look, particularly at the content maps that people are sharing, like some people are just putting a heading in there and that's, you know, enough for them and other people are putting a lot of context in there. So just having a strategy is important. You know, if you know your color palette, that's important. If you don't even know your color palette, that's right. Just go with the look and feel, the mood or the energy that you want it to have. That's okay. Where to put it all? Can you give me more? Give me more with that, Paula. Where do you, what do you mean? Where to put it all? I know, right? Ah, Beck, the computer skills. That's all right. Use, use pen and paper. Like when you're saving things to folders, maybe that's the put it all thing, Paula. When you're saving things to folders, I tend to use tabs because I like to save a tab. Otherwise, I've got like literally my brain has a million tabs open at any one time. And I get overwhelmed too. You know, we all get overwhelmed. So in those times when it feels too much, just take a step back, you know, do what feels right for you. And then, you know, progress on. Canva, where to put it all in Canva? Canva will automatically save all of your things. So then if you download a folder, I'd create a folder in whether you use Google Drive or Dropbox or your hard drive or wherever you save stuff, just create a folder for your My Canva images, you know, somewhere that you'll remember where it is. Um, yeah, back. Use your iPad or your phone if you're com more comfortable with that than with your computer. That's totally okay too. What else have we got? Struggling with getting a branding kit. Okay, cool. We're good. We're good. We're good, you guys. You guys are doing super well. 
So today I want to talk a little bit about captions. <laughs> oh my God. So for our image people, they're like, oh yes, the creatives and like, oh, I got this image thing now. And then the caption thing will be like, holy moly, this is like the wormhole that is always what to do, you know. And so then, but for our written people, it might be, you know, all the captions and the, the images are so hard to like orientate, but as soon as you have to write things down, it's like, oh my God, the words just like spill out. So very rarely there are some gifted people and we have some gifted people in the group who can do both. Um, I'm a visual person, so I always struggle with a caption piece. And I have clients that quite often struggle with the caption piece. And then I have other clients who love the caption piece. So let's talk about that in a little bit more detail today. Trying to get one small place to put font images, colors, but Canva, you no, I've got a free Canva account. Do I have a free Canva account? Or maybe I have the low cost Canva account, like the 995 or whatever. If you can't do your brand in Canva, I remember yesterday I showed you a document just from my clients. She just saved her fonts into a spreadsheet. So she knew her font file, she knew her font kind type and Google has a lot of free fonts. So once you find the fonts that you like in Canva, go make yourself a Google doc and write down the fonts and links, headline font, context font or copy font and then specialty font and find them on Google and just make a note of what they are. You can actually download the fonts from Google. Okay, um, so don't freak out about that. I guess I must have a paid Canva account. Um, I think it's like $9 a a month or something but if you don't want to do that you can save your fonts and free download them as long as you know what they are so even if you go into canva and you're making things you know which fonts are yours does that help sorry i didn't realize that i'm trying to get one small place to put font images colors but you shouldn't need to pay for canva i don't i thought canva was free for general usage so i'll double check that for you um yeah i'll double check sorry yeah, perfect, perfect. Hey, Donzi, nice to see you. All right, the paid version of Canva does the brand stuff. Thanks, Kamini. It doesn't matter if you have the paid version or not the paid version. I think, remember yesterday I showed you um, what one of my clients does. So she's got her fonts there, she's got her colors and her color codes there. So as long as you know what they are, when you're creating stuff, you can just add the color. It's nice to have them saved, but don't freak out if you don't. Just make sure you have those colors and those fonts as a reference that you can use when you're going back to Canva. So you've got it all there. Perfect. Hey, Deborah, nice to see you. Perfect. If you've got awesome fonts in da font, then just save them so you know what they are. Yeah, Canva has most of them. Perfect. You guys are awesome. So let's talk captions. Caption, like there's two well, there's probably multiple layers, but like the two big things people connect to when you're sharing social is like the images that you share and the words that you share, right? They're the two things. And some people, an image will trigger, uh, it will capture their attention, right? Because people pay with their attention and the words will capture their time. So you capture attention with imagery and you capture time with your words, right? And so quite often engagement comes from a combination or two or for visual people, if they see an image, they might like an image. For people who are, are more audio or who love the written word, they're going to watch what you read, right? And there's that combination of the two that always is that sweet spot. So quite often I'm finding with clients, if they're not getting the engagement they're looking for, often the copy doesn't meet the image. And it, you don't have to get super crazy about it because I've seen a lot of images where I'm like, okay, that doesn't really match, but it's it matches for the person, right? And that's what I mean about selecting um, images that match your values. So we already had um, a look at some categories that we're putting everything in, right? So we've got seven categories already. They're behind the scenes, my why, personal insights, inspiration, motivation, about, right, about me or about um, benefits, products and services. There's seven, but the sweet spot is usually like nine. And the reason why the sweet spot is nine is because if someone opens your Instagram feed, they're going to see nine tiles. And if you have the nine, it gives you breadth that shows that you have uh, diversity in what you're sharing over those nine tiles, right? So it just means that people can see that you're not just products, 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 products. In fact, that's what I'm doing for one of my corporate clients. They're only doing products, 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 products. There's no story behind it, right? So that you're, if you're able to share the creativity of what you're doing in the diversity of your captions and your images, I think that will really set you up to win. So 
if you've had a think about that, this is super cool, but if you haven't had a think about that, what do you think would make up your other two caption categories or caption topics? You can pop them in the, pop your notes in the comments. Let me see what, show me what you got. Or are you like, oh, what does she mean? Extra categories. Doesn't that cover everything? No, I think there's other things. I think there's things like, um, what else have we got in there? Inspiration. What about encouragement? Tips and tricks. Um, yeah, so encouragement's a good category. I would say, well, tips could be, yeah, you can go tips and tricks or helpful hints. Interests is maybe not a caption category. Um, the quantum field, ooh, I like it. Daily rituals is a great one. Yeah, great category. Interests are more around, I would say they would sit more into your values. Validate customer. Yeah, yeah. I love that. I love the um, shout outs. So shout outs, customer stories, um, hero's journey, any of those things. So like, you know, people do a shout out Saturday or whatever that is, or, you know, you can how to gain this. Yeah, the quantum field. Cool. Yeah, great ideas. So if you have seven, ideally we want you to have nine, but if you only have seven, we're okay, right? Because we're only going to work with a seven for now. But it's just a great idea to understand that when someone's, particularly if you're playing in the Instagram field, when someone looks at those first nine tiles and they open, you want to see the diversity of what you're sharing rather than going product, service, product, service, my why, product, service, product, service, my why. Got it? Perfect. Okay, so let's dig deeper. Wolfpack featuring amazing women. I love it. Yeah, Wolfpack, great. Because this is also like a great context or content piece where you're showcasing amazing people, inspirational stories. I always find that one sits really well in the people. I think there's a people section. So the about section, I quite often turn it into a people section where I share inspirational people, inspirational short stories, stories, things that I want to share that inspire me. Yes, yeah, so people is a great heading or, or caption piece. Amazing. Awesome. So now you've got your caption topics. Uh, we're going to go a little bit deeper into that and think about what are the topic elements that you might want to share. And I shared some of this in the group and also in the email this morning. Let me just pull up my notes so that I can speak from a position of strength, right? So if you think about behind the scenes and you can look at your content map to give you some ideas, what are some of the, um, what are some of the frameworks or what are some of the elements that you want to share in that space? So behind the scenes could be preferred workspaces, could be um, today's agenda, could be, uh, you know, I'm listening to, could be a learning experience, could be a day in the life of, could be an, uh, feeding my children. Like behind the scenes could be a new creative work. It could be all these like subsections, right? So even though you've got behind the scenes, think about what are some of those subsections or subcategories that you could then start to like give breadth and depth to. You don't have to create all of this work. Notice how I'm creating the caveat now. You don't have to create all the work, but give yourself an idea on what that could spin into, right? So when you're saying, hey, what kind of behind the scenes thing will I share? It's not just product base. It's actually people want to know about you and your life. So for me, behind the scenes could be this, you know, how I come up with captions. It could be how I interview my clients. It could be, um, you know, my favorite coffee. It could be, you know, my sunrise every day or whatever those things are so give yourself space to understand all the layers that sit behind each caption piece you know the personal insights could be um personal planners right so how do you plan your day what's on your to-do list advice from your past self morning rituals um inspirational people uh what i learned today could be, um, you know, uh, 
great customer story, could be, hey, I learned, I created a new thing. Um, the insights could be all anything that really allows you to share who you are and what you do, but you've got these subcategories that sit within there, right? Benefits, benefits, things like a special perk or being ahead of trends or um, how to get this feeling or how to provide comfort or um, what I know for sure. So there are these elements of, you know, feeling great or increasing your energy or, um, you know, building confidence or activating self-love. Like all of these things are benefit spaces that sit inside your subcategory. So if you know what some of those things look like, then it becomes easier to begin the conversation. And some of these context things that I'm talking about can sit inside your content map. You got it? So they all speak to each other. So if you're finding it hard to fill out your content map, because some people are like, oh, my content map's not that full. Don't freak out. Don't worry about it. Everything's all right, right? Just give yourself space to understand what would sit in that, right? Do you want me to keep going with some of these ideas? What about products, uh, products and services? What you do? Um, how you're different from the rest? This could be a great place to share testimonials, sharing a business blueprint, sharing a cheap sheet, sharing a lead magnet if you have a lead magnet, sharing a how-to can work really well in this space. You know, I love the how-tos as being a space where, um, you know, this is what we, this is how you get from here to there, or these are the steps to get from um, this place to that place. So that can work really well. Uh, what else have I got for you? About about super cool too. So about me, a favorite quote, guilty pleasures, enjoying a relaxing Saturday, having afternoon naps, um, telling a story, sharing uh, insights or sharing a past story, sharing a customer testimonial, building affinity, um, something that you learned, right? Part of your journey, all of these things, all of these things are just simple subcategories that can help you. Uh, any other questions or thoughts that I have in there, my brain? Yeah, let me know if you need any other inspiration in these lines, right? So I can pull them out and start to think more laterally for you. Amazing. Yeah, I love what I know for sure. Of course, that's an Oprah, right? So, you know, when you're doing that, you can always say, hey, I love Oprah's what I know for sure. What do you know for sure? What I know for sure is this. And so it's a really beautiful opening line. Amazing. You guys are awesome. Let me just check my notes sometimes. Yeah. Personal insights, benefits, thoughts, it is about perfect, perfect, perfect. So now you've got an idea on some of those subsections. The same with encouragement. You know, I love encouragement can come in the forms of my favorite quote. It can come in the forms of like, how do you encourage your clients? What do you do to maintain a positive state? Um, what would you have, what do you wish to hear about? You know, what is it that you're looking for comfort or encouragement in yourself? So how do you receive as well as how do you give? I think that's a great perspective to be sharing as well is that, like it's like breathing right so it's not just about telling everyone what we do it's about allowing people to see the ebb and flow a really great analogy is you know to take a breath right so when we're taking 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 it there's no flow right so if we're always trying to ask for people ask for people ask for people ask for people there's no flow but, and the same as when we're giving, if we're always like telling people, telling people, telling people, telling people, it's like a train, telling people, telling people, and there's no like give, then there's this real lack of flow between the communication because you know yourself, right? The dating thing, we bring it back to dating, <laughs> is that if, if you ask a question and someone doesn't ask a question back, it stops the conversation. If you don't ask the right questions that allow someone to be able to answer with like, thought and insight then the conversation's got nowhere to go so everything that you're sharing and everything you're doing is really has the intention of wanting to open a conversation and start the relationship now your relationship may feel a little one-sided at the beginning because you're just building trust you're building affinity you're letting people see who you are so that they can work out if this is a relationship they want to pursue 
And then from there, they'll start to give a little bit back. They're the ones that are going to be commenting on your feeds. They're the ones that are going to be showing up and letting you know what's, what they love about you. They're going to be the ones giving you feedback. And that then becomes this beautiful relationship because you're like, hey, I'm, I did that well. It's cool. We'll do more of that thing. Or you're like, oh, nothing happens there. And you can understand and start to see what's working and what's not working. So in this world of social media, marketing, dating thing, it's not social dating, but it's this ebb and flow. Yeah, holly Ann, I get it, right? So the hard thing, and look, I find this sometimes, and we're going to talk about engagement, so it's a good thing. I've got, I think, engagement's coming up in the next couple of days because if you're writing content just for writing content and you don't get the engagement, it's a soul-destroying, pouring place to sit, right? Because there's no ebb and flow. So I think it's you need to find a way to foster engagement and foster communication. And so we'll talk about that. But yeah, the, the first part is writing the content and the next piece is, you know, making sure that people engage and, and do and participate because otherwise it's really tough. Yeah. By the way, you guys do that super well. <laughs> so I'm like, so I feel so blessed and so awed and inspired about, oh, she'll tear me down um I feel so blessed that you guys are connecting with me like this that you share your time that you give the positive feedback that you're invested the way that you're invested that you're showing up like this it's just such a beautiful blessing to be part of this and to be able to facilitate the space where we all get to connect and so thank you for showing up and engaging because otherwise that would make this <laughs> very different conversation for me to have right so because you're here I'm able to be in this space and you by you showing up you empower me to do that so thank you so much I oh, know so okay I have to stop crying now because I was can't focus breathe let's read some comments <laughs> do you feel like we need to reply all, to all the comments um oh I lost you Stop all crying. Everyone stop crying. I missed the message from Miss Dare. Um, I really, I try to reply to all the comments. I think it just lets you know that I'm seeing and hearing you and I'm not acknowledging you. Sometimes I'm in the hustle, right? They come off the call and there's 153 comments and I'm like, oh shit, I got it like, and I, and I feel like maybe I'm not showing up the best way, right? And, I, and I want to be able to do that for you. I want to say something inspiring and I, sometimes I've lost all my words and it's not inspiring but I always want you to know that I'm here and I'm looking at you and I'm I'm following you and I'm appreciating you and just letting people know that is um is important yeah it's yeah I always try to respond uh, particularly if people are responding from a, like a post or something that you've put online um do try to respond the biggest mistake I've made in the past is not responding because if people take the time it's like you know dating <laughs> and I'm a terrible data I don't know why I keep referring to it I think maybe because I'm not good at the dating space and, but um you know if someone sends you a message and don't respond if someone like calls you and you don't answer it just becomes this one-way um straight right oh you're welcome I like I and I want to say something really cool but then I, I run out of coolness so <laughs> but I always love and appreciate every comment yeah and so this is a really cool, and this fosters engagement. It lets you know that I see you. I see everyone. Yeah, and Miss I get it. And so, like, I spend half an hour a day, like twice a day going through it because creating engagement is like, it's the piece, right, about building a community and building a tribe. And then through that engagement, you build relationship and that deepens the relationship and people will find the affinity with you and then more likely to work with you, right? And so um, I think it's worth the investment. I struggle with it sometimes. I get a bit of help sometimes too, right? So I think we're super blessed. But yes, I think it's definitely worth the time. Um, I would yeah, I'm always happy with the reaction from comments in large groups. Um, and it may not always be possible if you have a large group to respond to each one individually, but you can always post a comment in the comments, right, to say, oh, my God, you guys are amazing. You, I'm sure you've seen me do this, right? Hey, you guys are amazing. I'm loving the comments. I'm loving what's going on. Keep going, keep going. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, it's very off-putting when people don't respond to your comments. It depends on the size of your group, right? So I know that Michelle has a really big group. I think your group's like 5,000 people. It's hard to respond to everyone when you've got 5,000 people in the group. But then when you're at that stage, Michelle, I'd be wanting to get someone who would work with you to make sure that everyone feels really connected. Um, and there's ways you can segment that down so at least it becomes topical for the day and you're able to streamline things because I think that becomes a challenge too. <laughs> no, thanks everyone. Yeah, I look, it's so funny. I get screen drained too, Miss Dear, and I'm a digital marketer, social media marketing. And I'm like, oh, I can't see another screen, you know, at the end of the day and, you know, I'm with my family at the moment and they're like, what, do you want to watch a movie? I'm like, no, I, I don't want to watch anything. I just want to read or meditate or listen to something. I don't want to watch anything. So I think there's a couple of really cool hacks that you can use in this space. Again, we'll talk about engagement a little bit. 15 minute blocks, 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes at lunchtime, 15 minutes. Do give yourself three 15 minute blocks a day to go in, get it done and get out. I do that with saving images. I do it in a 10 minute, I give myself 10 minutes each day to go in, save images and get out. Because otherwise, the wormhole takes over. Yeah, perfect. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about like these, how do you turn all of these ideas into captions? All right, let me share with you how I do that. And then we can talk about what that looks like. Captions, captions. I'm gonna share with you a caption sheet that I developed for some of my clients. Um, forgive my messy, busy screen. Oh my God, you get, the, oh, bummer. <laughs> push too many buttons okay oh. oh 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 hang on i'm going to stop sharing so that i'm not oversharing ah because <laughs> that can happen which you guys have already known and so what i tend to do with my clients is i'll give them like their opening lines always comes back to dating give them the opening lines and then some ideas on what that can look like right and then from there they go ahead and fill out the rest so I'm going to give you some of my best opening lines as ideas I'm going to share this with you too so you don't have to write it all down so this was a caption sheet I don't know why that's being random anyway this is a caption sheet that I created for the month of May and so we've got some specialty dates in here too so May the 4th was Star Wars Day we obviously had Mother's Day in Australia, we have National Reconciliation Week. And one of the um, core uh, messages for Reconciliation Week is we're in this together, right? And I think this more than ever is so topical. And we had the Australia's biggest morning tea. So for my clients, we went ahead and we created four specialty days this month, four behind the scenes, four personal insights. We did four quotes so um, that they wanted to highlight. We did three about us four inspirational people, three benefits and four showcasing the products or services, right? So that's how we created the 30 tiles for this month. And then we, we drilled down just like we've done now. So about us, uh, our, our programs, our products and our teams, that's our about us section. So how are we in May already? Where's the time flying to? I want to challenge you to dot, dot, dot. And then they fill out the blanks, right? So what I'd love for you guys to start to think about is what are your opening lines? You don't have to read all the text. I'm going to move that so I'm not talking to the side. Um, you don't have to read all the text, but what you do need to think about is what are some great opening lines that you can have for different captions and different categories, right? So I'm going to show a little bit more of this and then we'll have a look at what do, what do some of your opening lines look like and you can start to curate how this comes about. So we'll say, hey, you know, it's always been an exci so exciting to share with you blah, 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 right? So these are just ways that we open conversations. All we want to do, you have to think of yourself as being the conversation starter. It's like speed dating, right? What are you going to say to trigger the conversation? Always the dating, my team. <laughs> Behind the scenes, happy Saturday. This morning I've been, do, 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 right? Simple. Hey, happy Saturday. This afternoon I've been taking a nap. I've never really done that, but I'm super tired. So blah, 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 blah. And all it is is like, how do you create that opening line that's going to allow you to um, trigger a conversation? What else have we got? Personal insight. What have you been doing with all your spare time? For me, I've been blah, 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 creating courses and running Facebook groups. 
you know, let me tell you about, right? Spending more time in isolation has been, don't you love the sound effects? May the fourth star were days. Yeah, personalized quote. In a world of uncertainty, we're often focused on blah, blah, blah. So we've decided to blah, 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 right? Inspirational people. We've been talking a lot about who our inspiration or what our inspiration comes from. And without a doubt, my inspiration comes from this cool person. The way they do this cool work is so amazing. Inspo of the day. You get the idea, right? Then with your showcasing, it's so important when you're showcasing things, they're not just saying, hey, read my new blog or do my new thing. Try and find a way to open the conversation. Are you curious about how to build content that connects? <laughs> well, here's your chance. I've started a 10 day course, blah, blah, blah. It's pretty much what's happened to you guys, right? So behind the scenes in our latest brainstorming session with our team, I came, up a I came across a really cool blah, 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 new app. <laughs> Found a way to do voice messaging, whatever it is. So this is what your task is. To write great captions, you just need to get the first line. Are you interested in understanding more of what we do? Do you want to improve in creating captions? Then da da da. Right? So you get the idea. Um, I'm going to stop sharing so I can see your comments. Mm -mm -mm. How does that feel? Can you remind me of this place to get quotes? Dee is in the house. <laughs> yes, she is. Oh uh, yeah, I did, I, but Miss Stair, this is what I do for a living, right? This is what I do for my clients. So yeah, I do that a month in advance and then I give it to them to make it their own so that we, um, I've done it before where I've written captions for my clients and I only do this for one person because she was just spending too much time and I'm going to give you that hack now, right? But I create the opening line. And quite often, that's the part we get stuck on. You think about the times that you've done a post. You're like, okay, I'm going to write a post. I'm going to use this picture. What do I say? And you're like, oh, what should I start with? Oh, no, that's crap. Oh, that's awesome. And by the time you come up with the opening line, it's taken like all this time. So if you can find a way to craft the opening line that gives you the tools to be able to then open the conversation, the rest will flow simply. Yeah, I store everything in Google Drive. I'm not a fan of Dropbox. I think it, uh, I'm not a fan of Dropbox. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so these are some super simple tips. What else I do for my clients, and this is something that you can potentially do. I So if you're going to look, look at your content map and you can record it, and this is a great way to consider it. So if you look at your content map, I wonder if I've got any here that I can see. I don't, it's too tricky for me to do and still stay connected to you. I'd much rather stay connected to you. Yeah, it's so painful to try and come up with an opening line. So just close the app and say, oh, another time. This is what we want to get rid of. So I know it becomes overwhelming and there's a lot of things going on. But if you can invest, I would say it would take you, if you can invest 30 minutes a week, you'd be able to get this, like do it a week in advance rather than a month in advance because otherwise it's like, oh my God, how do I do a month? But you've already got your content map, right? So use the first line of your content map or whatever that looks like, or you can go zigzag down or whatever that, use your content map to plan out your first week, my like day one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever that is. And then go ahead and record yourself. So whatever you had in that first square, how would you talk to someone about that? So if the first square was, I have to find one because I need a trigger to have a conversation. Otherwise, I lose my chain of thought. Let's see if I can find a content map and share it with you. One moment, please, caller. Now let's see if there's any questions that you need me to answer. Pinterest is great for quotes. Pinterest is great for quotes. And there's a couple of really cool quote websites. So if you just go and search uh, favorite um, I will search a particular item like lifestyle quotes and then it'll give me like a framework of what that looks like, lifestyle quotes or health quotes or whatever that looks like. Um, okay, so the content mapping sheet that I um, shared with you had, uh, let me see if I can find D. We all know D, D content map. This is good. So for D, behind the scenes educational. So behind the scenes could be, and she likes to feel hopeful, it could be, the opening line could be, did you know that every day 
I'm just making it up as I go along <laughs> or whatever that is. Or did you know that every day, dot, 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 right? That's all that is. Um, her why, um, I'm embracing my redhead. Do, 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 do. And then off she would go and have a conversation. Personal insights. Sometimes it surprises me that I'm do, 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 do. right? Inspiration and motivation. Despite what's going on right now, I'm optimistic about do, 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 do. <laughs> um, So her uh, about is she's giving back and enjoying it. So I would say um, for her in that piece, it would be um, I never expected to do, 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 do. Right, so think about each piece of your content map. And I'm literally looking at, I've shared with them. Uh, this, I'm, yeah, see, I'm not fancy. This is just my Google sheet, right? The Google sheet that I've shared with you guys that you guys create. So I'm just looking at the top line and working out what my opening line is and then writing it down, right? Education, if a key message is how to monetize your skill set, it could be, hey, I've just created a blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Right. So how would you speak to someone about that? If your why in that space is about making things simple, you can actually say, look, I'm tired of the smoke and mirrors. I want things to be easy for you. So maybe talk into a voice memo app. Um, there's, I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put it in there. Um, so talking to a voice memo app can, for each one of your subsections can be a really easy way to do it. There's lots of apps that can help you transcribe information. You can even do it as an interview, right? So what I do with some of my clients when I get stuck, I just wrote your one week of first week of one-liners. I love it. So cool, huh? That's all it is. First week of one-liners and then you'll add to it. You'll, you'll be in the moment and you'll be like, oh yeah, this is what it is. But quite often, if you can do it as a conversation, so talk into a voice memo and then do voice to text and then just edit it. So it's not going to take all of your energy to get this done. Yeah. Sometimes it gets a faster to write the content and then come back to the opening line. That, that's fine, right? Whatever works for you. I'm trying to find Pinterest. Yes, 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 yes. I love it. So I would, um, the other thing that I do is quite often I interview. So I have a client. She's beautiful. Oh, my God. All my clients are beautiful. I only work with beautiful people. It's my rule. Um, and she has a VA. So I've been helping her VA schedule her social media, but her VA was really stuck and she was spending like all this time writing captions. I'm like, writing captions shouldn't take you a long time. I'm just going to interview you. So all I did with her was I interviewed her with those opening lines. Just the lines that I shared with you before, I just interviewed her and then she gave me her answers and I typed them as she gave them to me and then I sent it to her as a caption sheet. It was that simple. I literally used her own words. So if you get stuck with this and this piece, have a conversation with a bestie or business partner or someone that you work with and, and get them to ask you the questions or you ask them the questions and start to fill that out that way. Again, you can record it, get it transcribed, voice to text, whatever that is but do it that way. So it becomes playful and simple. Yeah. Um, any thoughts or comments in there? I'll just wait for my screen to catch up. So yes, your task is to maybe talk it through first because it's much easier to talk it through for most of us than to write it through. Some of us are great um, literary people like I know there's a couple of people in the group who are great writers and they might find it easier to write but sometimes writing you're writing for a persona as opposed to speaking from yourself because remember we talked about just being yourself right so I've had another customer another um, person I work with and they're like oh uh, you didn't correct my grammar I'm like no because that's how you speak <laughs> And so we want you to be you, right? We want you to show up as you are in your authenticity. If I write it the way that I speak, there are keywords that I use, right? You'll already know what they are. I use the word super all the time. Super amazing people, super great things. Oh my God, that's epic. Like that's the language I use. If I did that for a customer, it wouldn't feel right. I'm not going to go and say I'm super excited on Dee's post because that's not how she speaks. She thinks everything is amazing. So use your own language and make it make it work for you. I think that's super important. Um, try not to get overwhelmed by it. Record it if you need to record it. Keep it super high, super high level. Yeah, it's perfect for you, Beck, that you can record it and then just do voice to text, right? 
Perfect. Beck, you're getting so busy. You're probably going to need a VA. Do you have one? You should get a VA, someone to help you, especially with the tech. So you can stay in your um, stay in your genius. I think that's the other piece that we need to remember. You know, we try and do everything and that's okay. Like when we're starting things or doing things quite often, you know, we start off with either a lot of time and maybe limited resources. And then as we get busier, we have more resources, but we have limited time, right? And so somewhere in this, there's a space where it balances out. So if you have more time and limited resources, then obviously you can invest more time into it. But if you have the resources and limited time, then invest more resources into it to find your sweet spot. Playful and simple. Yeah, absolutely. So I'd love to just check in and see how everyone's feeling about that. Are you clear on what you need to do? Just say yes, got it, gotcha. That would be super helpful. Mm -mm -mm. Um, anything else that you need um, inspiration or insights on, on the, in this space, writing the captions? Do you feel like we've nailed the caption thing? Gotcha. Perfect. Thanks, Kamini. Look at you guys nailing captions, right? Captions are uh, the sweet spot. Yes, amazing. So anything else that you, is there anything else or any other questions in this space around the caption space that you have for us today? Donzi's good. Look at you guys go. So the task is look at your content map. You've got your categories. If there's another category you need to add in, go for it. If not, don't freak out. Everything's okay. Seven categories is enough. Nine's good. But wherever you are is perfect. And then start to think about the opening lines for these things, right? So you've got some ideas on all the levels of inspiration between behind all those things, behind the scenes, the different things you can share about me, the different things you can share, inspirational people, the different things you can share. So you've got some of that context. Uh, yeah, but we have overlaps and that's okay. And there'll be some things that are like blank, right? Where you're like, ah. And when you have overlap, that's where you do a shout out to someone else. Because it's not, it's, we get our inspiration from lots of spaces, right? So if you're like, oh my God, I've just said the same thing three times or whatever that looks like. And sometimes that can feel like that. Then throw the spotlight on someone else. That always works. Yeah. Do you send them to me? Yes. Update your content map, content map with your first line and share, share, share. So I can see, see, see. <laughs> then I'll have a look at them. Um, Yes, thank you for the reminder. I will do that now so that I do not forget. Thanks, Michelle, I will do that. Um, amazing, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for showing up on a Saturday, Friday night for Miss Dare. And don't forget to ping me your questions if you have them in the group. Otherwise, have a beautiful evening, afternoon, day, whatever that looks like for you. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. If you have any questions, be my guest, ping me, I promise to answer them. Remember, I'm jumping on twice a day. <laughs> and I will see you tomorrow. Have the best evening. It's my absolute pleasure to be here with you guys. And I will look forward to tomorrow. Bye.